I think it's part of human nature to give. How much you give is a matter of opportunity, not necessarily who you are, but the opportunity to see a need and to fulfill that need. Our foundation is 41 years old, 1977 it was started, and our first donation was to the Boy Scouts of America, because when I was growing up, scouting was very important to me. It was really my family. And why did we start a foundation? I just thought at the time it was a good idea. It's not that I had a lot of money. I don't believe it's how much you have, but what you do with what you have. My father was a baker. We lived above the bakery as a family. It was a difficult existence. I tell the story about when we were in school and I only got one pair of shoes each year and the shoes couldn't cost more than $5. That was the rule, $5 was a pair of shoes. I got pretty good at hitchhiking and I eventually wound up in the Everglades and uh, lived with the Seminoles, caught frogs, sold the back legs and ate the front legs. I, I got along pretty good. This is actually what takes pictures of the inside of the eye and the retina, it's this thing right here. When I first started my practice as an optometrist, 98% of all the lenses that were dispensed for eyeglasses were glass lenses. The problem with the plastic lens is it was clear and nobody at that time knew how to color it. So I took it upon myself to learn how to color plastic lenses. That was the beginning of our business. Our company now makes over 4,000 products. I've never really had fear. When I was in the Navy flying planes, you know, yeah, I had fear then. But day by day fear, I, I usually don't have. I don't fear business, I don't fear making decisions. And that's just, as the circumstances change, I change. I like my sign out here. Now, you're gonna see what I call the graybeards who were our first deans of the university. President Alfonsin, who was the president of Argentina at that time, invited uh, a group of businessmen and university presidents to come to Argentina to help them with the economy. We spent a week there, and that's when Mitch Medik, the president of Florida International University, said to me, how would you like to uh, be part of FIU? And I said, if I come, I'm gonna be doing something. I'm not just gonna be sitting around. He says, welcome to FIU. And from that day on, we have uh, been involved as the chairman of the board of directors, and then two terms as trustee of the university. What we want is this to be a learning community, and being a learning community, it should focus around the university, that they are seamless. Each and every day, you have so many minutes, so many hours, and what are you gonna do with them? How are you gonna express what you want to achieve in your life? And fortunately, because of my business, it has been good to me, and I'm able to take the funds we have to take my time and my ideas and be able to extend them. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Nice seeing you again. You? What year are you in now? Third year. Third year. Okay. Uh, you have to do my camera now, too, because <laughs> I, I don't want to be left out. This is amazing. Yeah, and time is the most important element you have. Yeah. I have a saying that we all have time in common, and we all have our humanity. What we do with those two things defines who we are. It's because of my humanity to give back. I don't know how to do it any other way. It's part of who I am. That's my legacy.